Once you dock at any spaceport in the system where you got the contract, you'll get a message from Anonymous acknowledging your success and paying you for the contract. If you fail the contract, this is where you'll also be told how much you suck. Either way, the contract will be removed from your outstanding contracts list. So now on to our second target, President Simpson. Apparently he won with the slogan, can't someone else do it? So let's see, how do we find President Simpson? Shepard in the Axando system. So let's take a look at the Axando system. And you can see it has two habitable planets. Topaz, a terraformed world, and New Africa, another terraformed world. You can see that the starport Shepard is indeed on this planet. And since this is an Earth-like planet, it will have an open spaceport. Now, he'll be traveling on a Anaconda freighter. This is a big pointy trading ship. It will take a lot of punishment, but it will make an easy target. So let's accept the contract. Oh, uh, we've got plenty of time to carry it out, 6th of May, so... Now, with over a month to go, you might be tempted to take on a second contract, but it's a good idea to only take on one at a time, because it seems the likelihood of, of the contact getting spooked and not turning up is increased if you have more than one. So here we are at the spaceport, and there's our target. You can see I've got into the external view, and that's our ship there. Tiny little thing, see how large this freighter is. Uh, but one thing to note about this planet is that it's quite a bit bigger than Earth, about 2.6 times the mass. This means taking off and landing is a bit more tricky with manual control, so you're even more likely to cause your enemy to crash into the ground and fail the contract, or even hit the ground yourself. As usual, it's best to wait for them to enter hyperspace and then follow them. Now, it may be tempting to try to destroy the ship while it's on the platform here, but uh, this the target won't board the ship until the moment it leaves, so destroying it on the platform will not count as a successful assassination. Now, this uh, ship, the Anaconda Freighter, has a standard hyperspace range of 11.8 light years, while ours is 12, so we are just barely faster, faster than it. So we'll arrive just a few hours ahead. Well, that was unfortunate. <laughs> um, yeah, this is where you save, because that can happen. For some reason, the pilot was, like, crazy, or just... Suicidal, and for some reason, as you can see, that does not count. I don't know why, but anyway, let's reload. Try that again. Now, one thing you can do, since we're going to be uh, just getting through the... Uh, we're just going to be intercepting it through hyperspace, if we try to accelerate time a bit, we may skip the sort of moment where it launches so that it won't quite hit the ground. I think what's happening is the... Uh, there we go. The high gravity is making it hard to to actually launch. I was looking forward to seeing that lift off, that's a shame. We've got a bit of it there, okay. Now let's try to lift off ourselves. As you can see, on this planet things are a bit odd. See, I seem to be stuck on the ground, I'm sort of shifting about. But if I move out of first person and then back in, I, qu I suddenly start to move up. And it's a real struggle to get out of this atmosphere because of the high gravity. But, uh, let's see, where's this ship? Someone's got the hyperspace range anyway, there we go. Okay, let's just wait for them to go into hyperspace and follow them through. Go on, don't be afraid. And you can see they've got a they've got a quite significant shield strength there. It's going to take a lot of shooting to get through those shields. Uh, and one advantage of tackling this ship while it's in the atmosphere is that its shields are down when it's on the pad, so you get uh, you get to shoot it while its shields are down. But it's still not worth it compared to the difficulty of dealing with the police. If you have a really powerful laser or a plasma accelerator or something, it might be worth it because then you can basically take it out with one shot over just uh, half a second or something. But with our one megawatt pulse uh, beam laser, it's just not going to work. Now they've entered hyperspace and they've, they've gone to Leuton 674-15. Uh, yeah, I don't know if the procedural names are actually any better. Okay, so let's hyperspace. If we go into our rear view, we can see two hyperspace clouds. This is the one we came out of, the Arrival Cloud Remnant, and this one is an Arrival Cloud from Axando, and you can see the mass is, is right, and it looks like it's going to arrive just half an hour after us. Now, as you may have noticed, we come flying out of hyperspace at about uh, 
10,000 kph so the, the other ship is going to do the same so there's no way we're going to be able to hit it as it emerges but let's get a bit close so that we can uh, intercept it as it goes past now it will probably be flying out straight towards the planets pretty much in the same direction we are so if we position ourselves here it will fly right past us and we might, might be able to get a glancing shot off but it's as usual it's probably worth just matching velocities it's also worth saving at this point it's possible but unlikely that the ship might emerge out of hyperspace and just fly straight into us but let's just advance time to 1635.38 very precise timing in this game isn't it I don't want to increase any faster because I'll miss it come on just a few more minutes there we go, oh nearly missed it ah. ok, go into engine off mode and chase after it yeah you can see it's got the speed advantage on us from the momentum out of hyperspace uh, but we'll catch up to it because it's only a freighter with relatively weak thrusters for its size and we're a fighter craft you can see we're closing in try to get the uh, velocity indicator roughly where the enemy ship is I think we might be closing in a bit too fast so it's going to slow down a bit ok let's open fire yeah, you can see it's got some pretty strong shields the ship, the strength of the shields is indicated by the uh, by the colour, so white is full strength and re uh, red is minimum strength and you've got to really keep pummeling at it, you see it'll just regenerate without constant fire it would be nice to have a 4 megawatt beam laser instead but won't fit on this little ship oh dear ok that's not a that's not a, that's a that's a naval missile or a smart missile so we're gonna have to do our missile evasion tactics they've actually launched two missiles at us damn okay <laughs> this is another we can actually oh look we can actually use the radar mapper on the missiles and they seem to have energy bombs I don't and I don't know if that actually means anything uh, I don't obviously they don't use energy bombs they don't have much of a an engine to power it anyway now this is going to be really tricky because you've got to dodge both at the same time if one of them gets close you have to turn to the side quickly yeah this is tricky this may have been quite a tough mark to get oh my undercarriage yeah I think that's the least of my problems right now I've never actually seen a situation where the undercarriage is actually damaged by having it open uh, it just ah there we go one of them there we go okay the run out of missiles sooner or later there they are oh they're getting away no you can't get away I'm faster than you in theory damn it they've got a real speed advantage on me now one thing I could do if I just uh, set to maximum time acceleration oh that didn't work oh there's another ship there's a random pirate that's interesting ah but that one only had a normal homing missile the ECM took made short work of that <laughs> I might almost imagine this is a bodyguard called in but it is not ah look it's a it is a pirate can't you see I'm trying to work here damn pirates and their murder and piracy look why do you keep launching missiles that won't work you fool you're wasting good money it's not that it's going to matter because you're going to be dead it's hard to make an honest living in a place like this yeah stop moving about see all the while the other ship is closing in on me and uh well, it's going to be trying anyway. See, there it is. How far away is it? Oh, it's still moving away. See, I'm not sure if the enemy ship is actually... Damn it. Sometimes you have to pause to get a fix on it. Okay, come on. 
Damn it. I signed up to shoot a big brick like ship, not this tiny little thing. That is the advantage of a small ship, even though. Damn it! <laughs> I think that's all their missiles. It's just a desperation attack because they know they're gonna die. I think I'm too stupid to use an ECM system. But I have. But they know I have. Nearly. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so normally that, uh, doing that technique would, because the other enemy ship has now attacked us, uh, advancing to, where is it? Advancing to, there we go. Advancing to maximum time acceleration would, uh, just bring it instantly to us, but it seems that if I do that, it's going to bring some of the pirates closer, but... Ah! I tried to get anywhere. Whoa! It's right on top of me! Ah! Excuse the... Oh, my automatic pilot is damaged! Oh, that is a problem. <laughs> that is a serious problem. Okay. I can still do this. I might have to fly manually to the spaceport, but... I can do this. Maybe. This has really strong shields. I'm gonna have to get close to get a sustained fire on it. But it's gonna be risky, because I saw that... The colour of that laser is white, which means... Oh dear! Another missile! <sighs> this is tough. This is tough. Maybe I should have picked an easier mark. I'll just skip ahead to when I've defeated this missile. Ah, there we go. So I advanced time again. And... Oh my god! See, there are risks to that approach. Because it, it, it drops out of time acceleration right on top of you. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty risky. One one glancing blow from that laser and it could easily destroy us. I think how the, the shield is huge and yet shooting the area that the shield exists in doesn't, uh, doesn't do anything unless we hit the, the plane of the ship itself. Yes. Sustained fire can bring it down. Now you almost never encounter a ship like this, except in... Damn it! Oh god. It's gotta be its last missile. Oh, it's close, it's close. This is not good. Come on, missile. You can't catch me. There we go. Okay, it's not too far away. Let's not do the time acceleration this time. Yeah, you'll you'll never find a, a pirate ship with this many shield generators. Only on a, a cargo ship. And it's only worth taking on a ship like this if you uh, if you're being paid for it. Oh come on! See, this is the problem. I've I've, I've acquired so much velocity, it's a, a different angle to that ship that uh, I can't counteract it very easily, so I'm just going to do this. Oh, it didn't work. I think there's another ship. Maybe. Yes, there it is. Damn it. I'll just take care of this one. Quickly. Hopefully. I'm keeping the target locked on the other ship so I know how close it is. There we go. Hand weapons! Oh yeah, they'll be useful. I'll stick my gun out the window and shoot at this guy. Where is he? There. Yeah. Okay, he's heading right for us. Let's approach at a glancing angle so he won't just completely blast us out of the sky. Or indeed the space. His shields are back at full strength, of course. He's just gonna keep making us... ...fight for every inch of this. He's going after the hand weapons! Stop him! But it's good to have a challenging fight now and again. Usually when I did assassination missions, it would only be uh, after I was very powered up. I'd never usually attempt it in this ship, but I thought, why not? So it might be worth waiting till you have a more powerful ship like an Imperial Courier or a Cobra Mark III or an Asp Explorer. One of the later, later uh, episodes will, where I will cover all the ships available. But for now, damn it. 
Ah, there he goes, shooting his big fancy white laser. Not again! How many does he have? This could take some time. Okay. Avoided that missile, and this guy is still pretty close by. But he's flying away. Dun 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 <laughs> The music would be on constantly through this if uh, I had it on. But... Maybe I should put it on. This is certainly an epic fight. It deserves it. And the laser range is only 8 kilometers, so no point firing until that point. Damn it. I need a sustained burst. As soon as I get close, he does that. He's gonna run out eventually. But I think he's probably got 8 missiles, so that's number 6. Got me. Okay. Guess I'm gonna have to try that again. Yes! Whew. That was tough. But, it's done. For 17,000 credits, that was the hardest 17,000 credits I ever earned. But, it looks like we're gonna have to get back to... Uh, get to a, a spaceport without the aid of an autopilot. Which could be quite difficult.